What it do, what it do, what it do, good people coming to you live from Taz TV 410. I'm your host, Taz Ding. Before we even get started, I need you to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Again, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Listen here, brought bro, bro to you by, I, I, I need you. I need you. And don't forget to keep playing. Well, let's, 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 let's talk about it, good people. This episode two. We run a city. I mean, what we talked about now? What we talking about? When I first watched it, when I first watched the episode, I was like, eh, eh, eh. But I wasn't paying attention too much. I wasn't paying too much, too much attention. Like I, like I thought I should, right? However, I had to, I had to go back and look at it again. And not only did I have to go back and look at it again, you know, the streets is talking. North East, is, North, East, North East is talking. Yes, indeed. So one thing I wanted to say, I don't want to be chatty patty. No, I don't want to be chatty patty. Not, not coming from Ted's TV. Not at all. However, let me read to y'all, right, what this show, what this series is about. It's not me saying it. That's why I said, let me, let me, let me read it to y'all. And the reason why I said I need to read it to y'all, because some of y'all, is, 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 some, is some of y'all going around here and y'all speaking y'all speaking as if though is is real show or it's a hundred percent factual and I'm hearing I'm hearing I'm hearing all types of craziness right and I want people to understand how Hollywood works Hollywood gotta you gotta add the fluff that's how we keep on watching. This is the closest thing we have Baltimore to the wire. And I'm not the, I said the closest. I ain't say it's the wire. However, this is season two, and I'm here to recap it. But before we get into that, let's read. What's the, what, what is this story based on? What is this story based on? Let's go. Follow me. We Own the City is based on the true story told in the journalist Justin Fitton nonfiction book of the same name. We're going to read it one more time. We Own the City is based on the true story told in the journalist Justin Fitton nonfiction book of the same name. Some of y'all say some some of y'all may don't know what nonfiction mean. It means true. All right, we're just going to get back to it. It means true. However, that's how books be, get classified, nonfiction, fiction, things of that nature. But we're going to carry on. It also states, it tells how a, a shift in policing strategy in 2007 led to the creation of the GTF it, it, amid concern that the police had spent too long pursuing drugs rather than guns. We're going to go again. It tells how a shift of the police force, it, how the police force led to the creation of of the guns task force. Reason why they got so hot like that, it sounded like, because they was more, they was more, they started getting more, uh, more concerned about the drugs than the guns. That's what it said right here, not Taz. Not Taz. Now let's talk, let's talk about it, people. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about it. Episode two. Man, I like episode two. And the reason why I like, I, I like episode two, because it got, we talked about the police. It talked about the police. It talked up. It, it gave you. It, it gave you a story on how Sergeant Jenkins, how he started, and how he learned. You see how? What's his name? Officer Barber. He coming there. Oh, this is Baltimore. You got police a certain type of way. And listen here. Let me tell you this. I'm not saying everything that's on, on that show is correct or is the truth. No, I'm not saying that. We're not saying that. We talking about the show right here. I know some people don't like it. Oh, this, uh, forget that. Uh, no, we talking about the show right here. But it gives you, it gives you an insight. This is what I took from looking at the Jenkins character. He was cocky. He was arrogant. Right? However, when he started, he ain't know what type, he ain't know what type of uh, police he was going to be. He did his mentor taught him how, taught him all the wrong things to do as a rookie guy. 
And there's no excuse for why he became why he came out the way he came out. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm I'm thinking to myself, how many other cops go through this? How many other cops had had straddled the line at one? I mean, we can get into that at, after this. We can get into that after this. But the Jenkins card, it was more so like, yeah, I see how Barbara Barbara played a big part in mentoring him and all the wrong things, right? I uh, also see how he almost, I'm not going to say he broke, because it, it's not showing him, it's not showing him break, but in, in episode two, you see it starting to set in, right? You see it starting to set in. He went, when he walked past Jamil, when he walked past Jamil in the hallway and told Jamil to stay strong, I think he knew Jamil wasn't going, he, he knew Jamil was going to wreck. Because even after Jamil came from his interview and walked back out and looked at him in the cell, he had that one look on his face. He got up, looked out, out of his cell. And it, and it seemed like that's when it start, everything starts setting in. All that cocky, arrogant stuff starts setting again. He sat down and what he started doing? Thinking about his mentor, how he got, how he got taught policing. Start thinking about the wrong that he was doing to people, how he was policing. You know? Oh, that's life for you though, people. That's life. But yeah, his character was 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 that was that was that was, that was cool. Give us a little insight on that. Cause at first I thought he was out of touch. I just saw the chicken was out of touch with reality. And and now it's starting to set in. Now we talking about now Officer Jamel Ramon. This is Officer Jamel Ramon. They told everything. He told everything. And, and and what I took out of him, what I took out of him, when he gave you the story how he had stole he, he had stole he had stole some money. He had got in trouble. However, what's that? The, the EID? What's that? Uh well anyway. He got in trouble but didn't get in trouble. He got suspended for two years with pay. And how when he came back, he, he was assigned to go to that task force. And he said, see how things work in Baltimore? Like I like I said, like I said again, we ain't taking everything for for for, for factual on this show. Alright? We're not taking everything for facts. It's a show. However, but you see you heard what he said. He got, you see how, how it works in Baltimore? I, he just now came from doing some 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 crap ball stuff to now he he had a whole task force with, with, with crap ball people. So that was that was that was interesting. He gonna tell it all. We knew that. The introduce you start saying Sean Suter, more uh, detective, homicide detective Sean Suter, that was once working with with, with, with the. I I want to say the task. I want to say the task force, but I thought he said another name. But I'm gonna say the task force right now. He was working with them guys before, but now he was a, a homicide detective. It, it felt like in episode two. He keep on like he's fighting with himself. He fighting with himself. Like he wanna, he wanna is 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 he know them guys up to something, and then they keep on when they see him. When they see him, they say little stuff, you know, just just put his nose in it a little bit, let them know what they doing out there and what he not doing. So I, I felt like he started having a little a little fight within himself. He also caught his first case, and another thing, what I took from that. The, the shortest that I bought, the, the shortest that we have, and, and the shortest that we that we have in Baltimore City Police, even the, in the homicide division. Reason why I say this, because he say it started out. I ain't supposed to take my first murder by myself. I'm a rookie, but soon as boom, they jump, they put him on, they put him on out there. He had to go by himself because his partner had to go somewhere else for a murder, right? But see how things, how fast you had, you had to throw him into the fire. They had to throw him into the fire. His character gonna be interesting. Omar slash, and Omar, yeah, he playing, uh, he, he playing a good detective right now. All right, we gonna carry on. We had, we had a young moose out sighting, right? Young, young moose was, was, was getting interviewed by the, what, the, NW, the, the NWACP? The NAACP, and she just trying, she talking to everybody, she right now. So, 
Miss Nicole Steele. She talking to everybody right now. Police, politicians, citizens. Ain't nobody really trying to talk to her because it's like, they looking at it like she sound like she she the police. However, she still, she's trying to get down to her. So I like her role right now. I like her role right now. That's pretty cool. You had G Money. You had G Money. Mama do the, the, the crooked police. That's what I don't understand. How he was so he was he was messy. He was he, he, he was messy. When they had him and Brill talking, when Brill found out that that they had the tracker on the car. When he found out they had the tracker on the car and he, and he called and he called Mama Dude. And and again. Facts or fiction, all right? Because some of y'all, the reason why I'm, I'm cutting myself off and, and saying facts and fiction, people, don't let HBO run your life. Don't let HBO, I, I heard a whole conversation about, for real, that probably happened. Even, listen, man, let it go. Let it go. There's some of y'all around here thinking that, uh, let me shut up, Ted. Let me uh, continue with this. So when, when Mama do, Mama do out of town in Philly, and you had uh, Brill call to let me know about the the, 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 uh, the tracker he had on his car, and all this, you know, all this being on a, on a wire. He kept talking, and then he said the shit. Um. Uh. Well, I don't. I ain't having this conversation. Well, I don't know. It was something like that. Like, boy, you been been on the phone for like the last eleven minutes. What are you talking about? Like, hey. He said, take it off. And like, man, at this time, when you know you got the track on there, you know you're a hot boy. And and he should have, the, 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 the mama do kind of, if he ain't looking at it like, oh, you hot, it's time for you to do something different or shut it down or, or slow, start to slow your roll because that's not us. That's something else. Man, I don't know. Hold on, because he probably think that was just, because they did put it, they was putting trackers on cars, right? But they didn't put it on Brill car. I might be wrong. I might be. Oh, am, am I confused? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Leave a comment if I am. However, like I said, this this episode it went it went it went more into even the politics. How they, how they said uh, at the time it was Mayor O'Malley. How it was all about the stats. You see how they was putting. Uh, a bag of weed, they was putting a bag of weed on, what, four people? They was getting rewarded for, the, they was now, this is now, I don't know how true that, true that, I know now, that's, that's, that's pretty close. I don't know that, I don't know the reward system was like that. We don't know. We don't know. I know there's an ex-police out there, or somebody out there that can tell us though. So, if you don't want, you don't want to say it in the comments, you always inbox me. Or, or, or email me, dontezd at gmail.com, D-O-N-T-A-Z at gmail.com. Well, anyway, yeah, so so they hot, uh, uh, they got the FBI, hot, they hot, they had the FBI on, on, every, on, on, a whole, on a whole situation. I just didn't understand that, like, I didn't understand that for G-Money, Mama, dude, I didn't understand that, like, you, as far as you being a police, and you know that's not coming from you. You don't think like, oh, this whole shit about to go up and smoke. Like, it was like, I felt like it was one of the signs they had. But, I'm about to get up out of here. We've been on here for 14 minutes. We talked about the politics, make sure we we covered everything. We talked about, we talked about politics, the stats, how the man at one time was, was the man one time, he, he wanted the stats. He had the people going in the house early. He doing that to, to cut down on the murders. But he wanted to do, to do that because he wanted to run for governor. We had that. We talked about that. But we brushed off a little bit about that. We ain't really talk about the, the, the conversation Brill and, 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 and Mama do had. Because it really wasn't nothing. But I felt as though it should have been a little bit of something. It should have been a whole lot of something. Uh, him saying that we need to shut this whole shit down and just yeah, I felt like that. Um, uh, 
what else we 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 we, we uh Jamel Crooked Cop Jamel uh, he telling on he told told on everybody and he wanted them to keep Jenkins away from him. He walked past Jenkins Jenkins. Jenkins telling him to chill out. Be cool. He couldn't he couldn't that wasn't that wasn't possible. Then we went on, we talked about Jenkins. How he learned he had uh he had, he had officer uh Barber teaching him all the wrong things to do as a rookie cop. We had Jenkins going into his family life that looked like he felt like he wanted even more respect in that aspect. You know? Just just, you know, we crabs. You know, we don't get into that, but it felt like, yeah, he was missing something also in his personal life. Not giving him no 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 pass or anything. Uh we we talked about uh Miss Steele recruiting everybody, I mean, just interviewing everybody. They think she the police. We talked about Sean Shooter fight within himself, AKA Marlo fight within himself because he sees his old buddies out there getting money. And it looked like, oh, 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 yeah. And he learned, he got his, he caught his first murder case. He caught his first murder case. And his supervisor talking to him even about the stats. How, how, how things work, solving murders, how that work, how the number game, how, so, so, and he caught his first murder, so, that's going to be, his, 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 his character going to be interesting, this is going to be good, um, yeah, that was about it, part two, I'm pretty sure, because some of y'all said it was boring, go look at it again, go look at it again, and try to jot down some points. Try to jot down three points. Three different points. If you can jot down three different points, three different points than what I said today, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have a nice conversation. Matter of fact, next episode, you'll come on. We'll go one-on-one. -on -one, we'll record it, and then we'll put it out. So, coming live from Taz TV, I holler.